Hello friends, today we will talk about must to have tools for baking. Tools play an important role in baking. As a beginner, many a times it is difficult to decide what to buy and what not. An expert advice at time will help you save a lot of money, time and effort. And I am going to ensure that you get enough information that help you make more informed decision. I only recommend tools and equipments that I have personally used and satisfied with the results. The buy link of all these tools are given in the resources section of this lesson. Let us divide the tools in two categories, must to have tools and good to have tools. Let us start with the must to have tools first. The first and most important tool in this category is an oven. Depending on your need, you can decide between an OTG or a microwave convection. However, if you plan to take baking seriously, then I recommend buying an oven. Size, quality, brand will all depend on your uses and budget. For example, if you are a hobby baker and have a family of 4 to 5 people, then any OTG from 28 liters to 40 liters is good to have. But if you are a professional home baker, then you would like to invest in something which is more than 52 liters. I have a detailed article on my blog about choosing the best oven for yourself. And the link of the article is mentioned in the resource section of this lesson. The next important baking tool is a kitchen weighing scale. Each ingredient and its amount plays a significant role in baking and a slight change in the quantity of ingredient can change the results. Using a kitchen weighing scale helps you eliminate such disasters. The next important tool is a set of measuring cups and spoons. In baking, many recipes are given in cups. Please do not confuse these measuring cups with our regular coffee mugs and regular tablespoons. Here, cup means standard baking cups that are either of 200 ml or 240 ml. Invest in good quality measuring cups as they are going to stay with you in your all experiments. Oven thermometer is one of the most neglected tool that I consider most important to have in your kitchen. Every oven behaves differently. Many a times the temperature inside the chamber is different than the temperature that we set on display. It can impact the baking time and quality. To be sure about temperature inside your oven, I always recommend using the oven thermometer. Spatula is a simple yet an important tool. They are used for lifting, turning, skimming, folding, frying, boiling, stewing and baking. You may use spatula made of wood, silicon or metallic. However, I recommend using silicon spatula. They are heat resistant, ideal for use in pots with non-sticky coating, stain and odor resistant and can be washed easily. Whisking is required to blend ingredients smooth or to incorporate air into a mixture. And we need a whisker to whisk. If you are a hobby baker or going to bake occasionally, then go for regular hand whisker. But if you bake regularly, then better to use electric whisker as it saves your time and effort. The next important thing is the baking tray. We generally get one baking tray with the oven. For a hobby baker, that is sufficient to start with. Heavier the bottom, better the tray will be. It is always better to invest in good quality non-stick trays. To bake a cake or a bread, you will need baking tins and molds. Since this is going to be one time investment, I recommend investing in good quality of baking tins and molds. How much you should 
invest again depends on how regular you are going to bake and whether you are going to bake for yourself or for your customers. When I started, I bought two round, one square and one rectangular moat. If your budget permits, choose better quality non-stick tents. Every baked item needs to cool down on a cooling rack after baking, else they will become soggy. You need a cooling rack or a wired rack for the same. For cake makers, sifting is an important step that aerates the dry ingredients and also helps to remove unwanted particles. Generally, Indian kitchens have them, but if not, buy a metallic sifter. Whether you bake cake or bread, you will need silicon brush. These help in egg wash, milk wash or applying butter or oil without spoiling your hands. Rolling pin is another common yet important tool which is easily available in every Indian kitchen. You don't need to invest in those big fancy rolling pins unless you are a cake artist. Another common tool in baking is a mixing or kneading bowl. Any regular bowl from your kitchen can do the task. Steel, glass, plastic, anything will do. But if you use plastic mixing or kneading bowl, I recommend using a food grade quality bowl. Finally, once you are done with baking, you need to slice your bake. A serrated knife is the one that you need to get those perfect slices of your bread and cakes. For me, these are the tools you will need to get started. There are few more tools that we will now talk. However, they are good to have and helps you get better results. For cake bakers, pallet knife, piping bags, nozzles, turntables are certainly great tools to have. Similarly, for bread bakers, it's good to invest in parchment paper, cling wrap, etc. That's all folks. Let me know if you find this video informative. Leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment box below. Thanks.